Today, we've actually got a treat for you because what could be better than seeing a battle of the goats? Perhaps the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan, squaring off against our own goat in Dallas basketball history, Dirk Nowitzki. Now, this is a game from 2003. This was, again, the first season that I was really tuned in, the 0203 season. This is February, late February of 2013, in which they matched up. And thanks to SB Nation and Mavs Moneyball, today we are going to get to go into the Wayback Machine again for another edition of our Vintage Collection. And we are going to examine Dirk vs. Mike. Let's go. <laughs> Sean Bradley and jump balls is a joke. All right, so we're in D.C. here. I have not watched this one. I have not seen this game since I guess it would have been when I watched it live. There's Michael Jordan baseline. Washington out to an early 13-4 advantage. People forget, man, Jordan with the with the Wizards, man. He still had it. <laughs> he, until just this past year, Jamal Crawford uh, in Dirk's last home game put up 50. But Jordan was the previously the only 50-year-old, or not 50-year-old, excuse me, 40 plus year old to go for 50 in a game not 50 year old that would be insane even by Jordan standards Michael Jordan controlling early here pick and roll with Dirk and Nash good find oh wow Mark Cuban <laughs> the Mavs football jersey and that haircut Dirk spots up for three Dallas is on the comeback 38-29 here mid second quarter Let's see, let's see. Dirk guarding on the perimeter, that's not a great place. Jordan in the mid-range game, man. Lights out. It's just understanding, even at this age, at this point, it's not explosiveness for him. It's the savvy and the understanding of angles and how to create space. Still elite at that, uh, that pull-up off the dribble. Funny story, what would have been Dirk's final game against Michael Jordan in his career before Jordan finally hung him up for good. Uh, he missed the game because he was so eager to get out on the floor and play. Woo, Dirk in transition with the jam. He turned his ankle trying to put on his shoe. I guess he couldn't get the heel quite in, so he was like trying to stamp down. Rolled his ankle, missed the game. Unfortunate, Dirk. Damn, Dallas down to a one-point game here. Eight minutes left in the third. Pick and roll with Nash. Dirk with his own spot up. Whew, so silky smooth. Oh, Christian Leitner, is that who that is? Dallas now in control. Dirk with a wide open look. Why would you give Dirk that look? Even at this stage in 03, you should know better. <laughs> let's see let's see Dirk ooh gets him with the pump gets him with the pump fake and rains it down I like it I like it top the key yeah yeah over <laughs> Michael Jordan was just freaking automatic man Fourth quarter now, Dallas up seven. This was a Dallas team that started the year something like 15 and one. I think the NBA record for best start to a season was the Lakers with, I think Magic had it. It was something like starting 17 and 0 or 18 and 0, something crazy. And when you added the end of the last year's regular season, it was something like 35 wins in a row, which is absurd. But Dallas nearly matched the hottest start to begin a year. They lost, and then they had a chance to reach another record, which was like the best start would have been like then 18 and one. But they lost again, I recall. But they were a good team, man. Damn good team. All offense, not a lot of defense. Uh, but they could have gotten away with it. This was the team that could have gotten Don Nelson a title, Nash a title. I mean, I know. Nice up and under from Jordan, man. Good Lord. Here he is on Van Axel. Oh, he was waiting to use that line. Michael Jordan using his wizardry. How convenient. Jordan had a share in the Wizards at this time of the ownership, which is why he actually came to play for them. 
Swats and Van Exel then. Okay. Dallas down to a one point lead. All right. Um, oh. Oh, no. Jerry Stackhouse. All right. Not a, not yet a Mav. And then there's Dirk in transition with the and one dunk. Wait. Oh, wow. He missed. He must have thrown it off the back of the rim. Damn. Well, at least he got both free throws. This is a really good game. Under a minute left. One point game. Dallas up one. Dirk with the board gets fouled. I know my screen's kind of blocking there. Free throws. Sorry. Dirk made both free throws. There's Jordan. Nope. Stackhouse for three. I, I realized who that was based on the shooting form. Tie game. 15 seconds left. Nash topped the key from Finley. Nash crosses over. Drives middle of the floor. Nice move. Gets up and under. Misses. Dallas with the offensive board. Five seconds left. Dirk spot up three. No. He does not get it. We're going to be going to overtime, it looks like, unless magic happens here. Two seconds left. Jordan, top of the key, pulls up. Oh, misses it. Okay, we're going to overtime, tied at 90. This is exciting. I, I got into that for a moment there. Let's see, Dirk. <laughs> oh, wow, nice recovery. Jordan drives, hangs, fades, gets the roll. Good God. This is Jordan at like, what, 38? I mean, this is crazy. Nash creates some space. Tough fall fade. Gets it. Dallas up four with under a minute left. Jordan squaring up. Pulls up. Bucket. How is it Jordan-esque? It's Jordan. Jordan-esque. What you would say of esque. Oh, wow. What a weird hanger for Nash, but it goes in. There's Rajah Bell. What you would say in that case, if it was Jordan-esque, you would say it if another guy made the play. If it's the guy himself, then it's not Jordan-esque. It's just Jordan being Jordan. How does this just... Uh, okay. <laughs> Dallas up four. Jordan hits it again. 11 seconds. Three-point game. Wizards ball down three. Finley with the block. How did that ball not go to Jordan, by the way? Dallas wins 106-101. Wow. That was that was actually a lot more thrilling than I thought it was going to be. Um, that's pretty cool. Again, thank you to SB Nation for providing the clip, for putting all this together. Uh, this is awesome. That was way, way better than I anticipated it being. I mean, I, I expected it to be good. I didn't really, I didn't remember it being such a close game watching it as a kid. I probably just knew, you know, I'm trying to think at that point, I would probably am 12 years old, maybe just turned 13. So yeah, I guess I just didn't remember it as clearly other than the Mavericks winning and both Dirk and Jordan scoring a bunch. So this is uh this was cool. This was an experience for sure. I'm actually looking forward to doing more of these. I I've recorded these first two or three now in a, in a span of just a couple hours uh, as I'm finding time here and there over the course of my day. But this is, this is pretty cool. Like it's, it's nostalgic for me. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Uh, I put together this new layout on the stream. Hopefully you dig it I'm trying. Um, but I think we're going to sprinkle in some of these from time to time. It's a pretty fun, pretty fun way to get some added content and to kind of just relive the moments together, the moments of whether it's vintage Dirk. I know these early ones have been vintage Dirk. I am going to record some new stuff actually today, later this afternoon is my plan after work. So hang tight. We got a lot more coming. Mavs content is on the way, even though we are now in the thick of football season, both with college and NFL underway. But uh, we're not going to wait until October to get into the Mavericks talk. So until next time, guys, remember, every legend was once a prospect. Salute.